How's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest. It is Daniel Oosterman, who is the VP of Exploration for Silver Elephant Mining Corp. How are you doing today? Very good, Rich. How are you? Very good. Very excited to have you here today. Before we get into some of the big news that we're going to discuss on the show, I'd love to just know a little bit more about how long you've been with the company. Sure. Uh, I, as you say, I'm the VP of Exploration for uh, Silver Elephant. I'm the QP of the company. I, uh, I've, I've been working in mining and exploration for 20 years. I started my career with uh, Falcon Bridge and moved on to Inco. Uh, I helped drill the T3 deep deposit in Thompson, Manitoba. And uh, I moved on to the junior markets where I eventually ended up working the Well Green Platinum Palladium deposit, where is where I met our chairman, uh, John Lee. Uh, and uh, how I ended up uh, getting ties with the company. And I rejoined the company two years ago uh, to really help on these uh, Bolivian projects, an exciting uh, silver project located in Bolivia. Now, the news is really big, and the title is Silver Elephant Acquires Sinaueo Silver Project Bordering Historic 350 Million Silver Ounce Malcucota Project. Why don't we talk a little bit about this news, because it seems like a pretty big news for the company. It is. Uh, as you say, on, on September 8th of the, this year, we announced uh, the, the acquisition of the Sunawayo project. Uh, it is, uh, the project is immediately adjacent to the, uh, the Malcocota project, which is, which is bordering on that project to the southeast. Uh, the Malcocota project has a historic resource of 350 million ounces of silver. And this resource lies only 200 meters from the border of the Sunawaya project, which is our announced uh, acquisition. Uh, it's significant because on January of 2020 this year, we submitted an application for a mining production contract for Malcocota. And that Malcocota is currently under administration of Comibol, which is a government arm of the mining arm of, of the Bolivian government. And we basically now are going through that process to acquire, uh, to, to, to get the mining and, exp mining and exploration rights for Malcocota. And combined, this project would end up extending about a 34 kilometer uh, extent and, 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 and combined those two projects would account for over 100 square kilometers of area to explore, plus that historic resource of 350 million ounces. Wow, that's a, that's a huge, huge, huge piece of news. And the Senawayo and the Malkukota are inseparable, part of the system, correct? Correct. The Malkukota deposit is hosted in a set of rocks, sandstones, that are essentially uh, continue onto the Senawayo project. The Sunawaya, the Malcocota deposit type is something called a SEDEX deposit, which is short for sedimentary exhalative deposit. These are typically very large regional scale deposits. They form in large basins, uh, basically with high, from hydrothermal fluids exhaling onto the seafloor and eventually depositing metals into sediments. They temp typically span for hundreds of kilometers. An example would be uh, the Mount Isa Shale, um, the Mount Isa deposit in, in Australia, which has been mining for over 100 years, and they still have almost a half a billion uh, tons of, of resource after 100 years. Uh, the Red Dog deposit in Alaska, which is the, which is the USA's largest silver producer. Uh, Sullivan Mine, which is a mine for almost 100 years in Canada and in BC. So the, these are very, very large deposits and they tend to form in clusters. So when we say these, the, these two projects are inseparable, we're thinking in terms of those district scale size systems. Now, how does the Bolivian government and the price of silver going up benefit silver elephant mining in this situation here right now? Well, with the government opening up, it puts the entire district into play. Uh, we see that uh, Bolivia has been really uh, starving for foreign investment over the, over the few years, and now it really is wanting to draw in that investment. Bolivia is by far elephant country when it comes to silver projects. Of course, it is home to Cerro Rico, which is the world's largest silver deposit that has ever been mined, over a billion uh, ounces of silver over 300 years of mining. And of course, uh, San Cristobal is currently operating in uh, Bolivia as well. And so ultimately, uh, we see this, we see the entire, 
uh, country of Bolivia is now in play. And that's one of the reasons that we have been looking to acquire projects in Bolivia at this time. Well, this is huge news. If there's anything that you wanted an investor or shareholder to know about this news, about what you guys are doing, what would it be? Well, three things. I mean, we have, we have a mandate to add as many silver ounces into the ground. In the next 12 to 18 months, we're looking to add, have a, a, a folio of over 300 million ounces of silver in the company. We wow. still have our Pulakayo project, which has 60 million ounces of silver. That project is going to announce a, a mineral re, an updated mineral resource estimate sometime later this month. And of course, we have our Triumphal project, which is currently drilling, and we expect those results uh, for that drilling later this fall. So right now we have a very exciting prospects. We keep adding more ground with a lot of perspective uh, geology that we can explore. And so we think it's gonna be very exciting over the next 12 to 18 months with Silver Elephant. Yeah, well today the company's doing quite well. I know the stock is up on this news. So congratulations on that. And thank you for joining us on our show. We wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors. And in the future, if you guys ever have any big news or anything that you think is really valuable to the community or to your shareholders, we'd love to have you back on our show so we can discuss your future progress as it continues. Thank you, Richard. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much. Our guest today, Daniel Oosterman, the VP of Exploration from Silver Elephant Mining Corp. Thank you for watching. Have yourselves a great day.